FCS, baby, going to Atlanta, linebacker out of Montana State. This is an ex-quarterback who is now drafted as a linebacker. We've seen this before, right? Lane Johnson was a quarterback, then went to tight end, then ended up as a left tackle, and a really good one for Philadelphia in the NFL. But this is a an, an interesting position change from quarterback to linebacker. Rick Spielman, what do we know about the small school kid? Yeah. <laughs> this kid is the, the kid that just blew out the combine with his athletic ability and the way he ran the 40. And I think he's still transitioning there. But this kid, because of his athleticism, this is a great developmental project. Yeah, ran sub 4-5. Uh, he rushed for 1,400 yards in 2018 and attempted 208 passes. And then he moved in 2019 to off-ball linebacker. And he plays that position. It's not instinctive yet because he's new to the position, but he plays it coming downhill like he shot out of a cannon. He went to the Senior Bowl and, and more than held his own. I don't want to say he lit it up because he, he was he felt like he, he belonged to be there as a, a Division One player after playing a lot of Division Two football. Teams loved him. And the fact that he went ahead of Chad Muma, who we've talked about out of Wyoming, is, is telling to me. Chad Muma has a lot of good tape. He tested well, but Anderson, it feels like, has the more upside, and that's why he went here. And they lost to Luacon, their, their leading tackler and the leading tackler in the league. They lost him to Jacksonville in free agency, so they got to replace that guy in the middle of their defense. Ah, FCS love. Montana State on the board with the Atlanta Falcons, the linebacker, Troy Anderson, headed your way. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.